The Royal Grinder from Flare Espresso comes with a custom roll bag to make traveling easier and provide storage for tools when you're not. There's a pocket for the grinder, another for tools and manual, and a third to store the crank handle. To get started, remove the body cap and install the crank arm. The Royal comes set on zero. Whenever you need to find it again, rotate the crown counterclockwise until you feel the burrs locking up. Then rotate the crown clockwise until the notch of the crown lines up with the zero again. The first full rotation from zero brings you to the 24th position. Two full rotations take you to the 48th position. Three full rotations take you to the 72nd position. Past here, the two parts will begin to rub on one another. Never adjust the grind selection while beans are inside. It could damage your grinder. Instead of holding the grinder in place, move both hands as if you were pedaling a bike to grind more effortlessly. For espresso, target a grind that feels more like soft sand than cake powder. When cleaning the Royal, only use a dry towel. Water, even moisture, can lead to surface oxidation on the steel burrs. Before removing the cone burr, it's important to set the grinder to a coarse setting. Secure the crank with one hand, then using the 4mm Allen key, loosen and remove the bolt, securing the burr and the burr retainer to the axle. A dust blower tool for cameras can help remove powder from the hard to reach areas, but the included brush is generally all you'll ever need. Never flush with water. Align and insert the prongs into the holes on the bottom of the burr. Align the flats on the axle with the flats on the burr retainer during installation. Tighten the bolt to secure them to the axle. 